I am missing the Why? Let me tell you why. Well, it's that God in me. The God you talking about? Well, it's that God in me. You said God? What? Well, it's that God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's that God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to treat the holy God, hold the strong, the good, good, make the place, good, and the state. This is the make sure that we do. Hey, y'all. Hey, 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 how you doing? Jesus is Lord. Welcome to the Love Chapters. You are listening to Positive Power 21 Radio Network. I am Mrs. Devil Slayer. And I'm Mr. Devil Slayer. And we are the Love Chapters. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Let me tell you guys something, okay? What would you want to tell us? Let me tell you something. Whenever you see obstructions come in your path, mm-hmm. when you are, whenever you see people start to act out mm-hmm. and things just start to happen to you, mm-hmm. you know you're about. You know you're doing something right for the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know you're doing something right for the Lord. Because, I think because, that's, uh, huh? Huh? Uh, that's an interesting statement. I could add on to that. Yeah, literally, because I got to tell you, you know, coming to this show today was a real task. Up until the last minute, <laughs> it's it's been a it's been a task, and and I just know that what we're about to talk about today is very very important. So before we start. We want to say shouts out to um, the biggest, hottest producer in radio network land. So on social media, Jerry, Jerry Royce. Royce. Shout out to Skeet. Yep, yep. Oh, Skeet's been he's been doing his thing, right? Yeah, he really has. Getting uh, nominated for yeah. awards. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. That'd be the glory for Skeet. And wow. Uh, wholesome programming yes. for children. It's yes. Definitely along the lines of what we're talking about. So we yeah. thank God for uh, yeah. God giving Jerry the vision for for ski and um, putting out you know wholesome and positive entertainment, which is very needed. It's needed. Yeah. In this in this time that we're living in. So the whole the whole the whole weekend channel live streaming. Mm-hmm. You guys really have to check it out. It's good. It's wholesome. Mm-hmm. You know, the Bible says, watch out what goes in your mouth gate, your ear gate, and your eye gate. Mm-hmm. You know, but you also have to, he says, watch out, but then you got to watch. Oh, whether, guard your whether heart. It's good. With all this diligence. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so tune in, guys. Tune in. Tune in. Because um, Jerry got something really good, you know. He got something really good going on, and I'm glad that we're a part of it. You know, mm-hmm. on, on this Jerry Royce Positive Power uh, Network, the whole family, um, you know, all the all the wonderful um, podcasters and um, radio hosts on yes. uh, on Positive Positive Dr. Power Shariga, Network, lovely, you know, triumphant show, Paula Jean. Paula G. Uh, we got we got um, Rev Reverend Red, Reverend Red and uh, Crystal uh, Lady Pastor K. Kent, Lady K. She also she also has a new show as well. Uh, Check uh, her out. And the, the, Paula Brion the, the testimony. Paula Paula Brion. Whoa. Paula Brion the yeah. testimony. And, 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 a, and a plethora Paula of Brion individuals Brion. who who are taking what Christ gave Amen. us to the world. Yeah. Over the airwaves, we yeah. need that. Yes, yes. We we just we just praise God for just being committed. You know, thank God for for all who is just committed to the cause. It's not like my husband says. Every week we we have to decide and make a decision that we're going to press our way. We're going to mm-hmm. press our way, press our way, and commit to this 
cause of Christ, as I like to say, the cause, uh, spreading and ministering and encouraging someone, even when we feel we might not be able to encourage, but God, he says, keep moving forward, keep pressing forward, for it is he that dwelleth in thee to do this good work in you and through you, for it's not by your might, but it's by my might, as the Spirit, the living God. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So let's just, um, let's just pray, um, continue to pray, and uh, just press in right now. Heavenly Father, we're just coming to you with continued thanksgiving this evening, this wonderful evening, Father, that you've blessed us with. Father, we thank you for getting us through our day, Lord. We thank you for our health. We thank you for our strength. We thank you for us being in our right minds, Lord. We thank you for our families, our loved ones, Lord. Thank you for their health, Lord. Thank you for keeping us, Lord, keeping us in total peace when sometimes chaos wants to break out in our lives. Thank you that you have reminded us that you are our peace, our strong tower, our Jehovah Gabor, that you fight for us. You are fighting for us. Even yes, now, Lord. Lord, I'm thanking you that you're fighting for the body of Christ, Lord. You're, and thank you for your son that you've sent, Father, that's constantly petitioning on our behalf, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful covenant that we have, Lord, to come boldly to your throne, Lord, as sons and daughters, as I always say, because we're daughters and sons of the Most High. So I'm thanking you for that privilege, Lord. Hallelujah. And we just give thanks right now. We thank you for the yes, quote, Rabbi Shah. We just, we just give you thanks right now. Um, I'm, I'm just grateful, Father. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to be living. Yes, and Lord. Um, we, we just give you thanks, continued thanks right now for this time. And we just declare that it's blessed. And we thank you for the man of God that's going to come forth. And whatever you want to say, Lord, we, we just we just say, have your way, have your way, have your way. Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. I am... You know, we normally come. We normally come on the show, and we are like happy, and you know. But today, I'm kind of like subdued, not subdued, but um, we're coming with a seriousness today because um, I mean, we're always at joy, and we're actually going to spread spread the good news. Um, but um, I, I'm I've just been. Uh, I might as well get into it and just talk about what happened. Uh, the other day, I was, uh, I was uh, doing the laundry. I was in the laundry mat, right, and um, I noticed that I was beeping, I was bopping my head to the music that they had playing in there. Bopping my head, you know, I was going to the beat, you know, I, I, I was really feeling the vibe, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and then I stopped. I stopped and I said, uh, I said, what am I listening to? Right. Whenever, whenever I start to, uh, whenever I start getting in the dancing mode and the, and the dance vibe mode, I always stop and I always start to uh, think about what it is that I'm listening to. What am I, what am I listening to? What am I about to, what am I bopping my head to? So I automatically instinctively thought of first Peter um, five verse eight. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, and I, and I'm starting to understand that this is how, what I'm doing now more often than not. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, what does it say in the New International Version, First Peter 5, verse 8? First Peter 5, verse 8. Babe, can you read that for me? Be alert and of sober mind. Mm-hmm. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Right. In the American Standard Version, it says be sober, be watchful. Be watchful. In the New International Version, it says your enemy. In the American Standard Version, it says your adversary. Okay? So once I thought about that, I was like, okay, what am I listening to? 
the song I was listening to was by um, Monica. Um, it was when she first came out. Um, you make me feel so gone. So what, what is it? So gone. So gone. Something like that, right? And uh, I was like, oh. And I was like, hmm, I'm listening to this. I'm, so I was like, let me listen to the words. Because this is a song from back in the day. This is a song that got everybody going in the club. This is a song that um, um, a, lot of, a lot of people later on started to emulate in real life. And in the song, um, there's singing and there's rapping. And then there's a part that she, she goes, um, you make me want to um, kick down the door and slap your chick. Okay? So that – so – what was happening was is that she was in love with another man who was living with another woman, <laughs> probably his wife. So she was cheating. She was being a home wrecker. And if anybody knew that song, everybody loved that song back in the day. Not so much because she was she was a home wrecker, but because the song sounded like a love song and people went around singing that song and, and women actually started to emulate the song. If they cheated on you and they turned out to be the, uh, and, and let's say that they were the, uh, how you call it? The side chick. But well, then they wanted to make themselves known to the wife. So, the, so, so it actually, um, the song actually immortalized or glamorized um, the house wrecker, the woman that cheats. Okay, and so many, how many people went around loving this song? Right. I was one of them. Right. Not, yeah, not knowing what the words, words said really were or the story behind the, the lyrics. Right, right. So then I, so then I immediately stopped dancing. I stopped, I stopped vibing with the song because I realized that it wasn't a good song from the get, right. from the gate. Right. You were captivated by the uh, the music. Right, right. So, so I started uh, folding the clothes and stuff like that. Boom, boom, boom. And then before you know it, I was bopping my head to it again. What well, should I say, seduced? But let's not go that far. I, I mean, maybe back in the day I was seduced, but 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 I, but because there's so much to the song. Let's go. Oh, and I love you, love you, babe. Oh, and I love you, love you, babe. Right? It, 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 it's 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 talking about love and all the wrong things in all the wrong places. Okay, you. She was she was having sex with a guy that already was married or living with another woman. Okay, and so she got she got so caught up in this guy that she became maniacal. Where she actually wanted to go and what did you say? Make you want to kick down the door and slap slap your chick, you know? So so and and so what happened? Like I said, women started to emulate that and actually go out and do it, make themselves known, make the, 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 the what's the, the side chick now becomes the main chick or the, or the side chick now becomes maniacal enough to, to, to make themselves known to the world. Like it was okay. Like, like, like it was okay. And it was all on set on the premise of love. Of love. But it was really lust, right? And, and 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 so that made me realize that for years of dancing and singing that song and so forth and so on, that it had evil, evil, it had, it had evil um, connotations behind it. Right. It was it was it was evil. Right. How many other songs have we been listening to? That we had no idea had nothing to do with love, but everything to do with Satan. And then, as we know, things started to pr primarily get worse in the songs now to where, you know, everything is just out in the open now. Yeah. People are going crazy. They're becoming uh, anthems. I mean, 
I, I remember I was in, where was I? We were in, uh, was it Outback? And uh-huh. the song was talking about, I don't even remember the name of the song, but I just remembered the lyrics of somebody saying something about killing or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And I said, babe, do you? And everybody in the entire restaurant was it's, repeating it. I'm like, what song. was why would they want to repeat kill your something something something? I just remember kill, and I'm like, and 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 it was just it was like people were just eating, and it, it was yeah. they were just like it was robots. The it was chance, almost, yeah, the it chance. was almost like the 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 whole restaurant. Everyone became robots mm-hmm. and just repeated this. Like you said, it was like a chant. Yeah. And I'm like, why would somebody? Why 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 is the song popular? <laughs> Two. Why would why would people just sing it and at that moment I was perplexed but it's easy to get caught up because we've been there you get caught up but you just you're not really realizing like what you're saying and Mm -hmm. you're just like oh this this beat is hot and you just find yourself saying it over and over and Mm -hmm. you don't realize that you're giving access Mm -hmm. you're giving license Mm -hmm. To satanic Satan. ritual, yeah. satanic incantation, yeah. whatever has been in the in the mm-hmm. lyric, whatever the the mm-hmm. artist intended for mm-hmm. that lyric to do in that moment, and you you just you just um given license because the power of life and death, whether we want to admit it or not, mm-hmm. is, the word says is in our mouth. Yeah. So it's still giving um uh what what's the word holy spirit you're still giving license yes. regardless of, even if even if you don't yeah believe in that law it's still a spiritual law yeah so out of your ignorance mm-hmm. you're giving that license to um have Satan come in your life and 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 do things to speak wicked yeah. wicker, <laughs> wickedly wickedly yeah. to speak to cast spells yeah. whatever that Music has it been intended, and then you also get in bond. You become in bondage as in, in bondage. Okay, right. Because because you going in. Hold on, <laughs> so, so, so you you going in. You, go yeah, but, but this is good. Shit. This Amen. is good. This is good. Okay, so so hold on to that, right? Amen. So right, right. Um, and so and so. Right, it's in the lyrics. Mm-hmm. It, the, the the lyrics will get you. It's more than in the lyrics mm-hmm. because you know the beat is hot in Monica's song. Right. So so the beat will the beat itself. There's a chant in the beat. There is a there is a chanting that is cast on the music, on the lyrics. And sometimes, right, the artist doesn't even know. When you said what, what the artist intended for it to be in the music, uh, in the lyrics, sometimes the artists don't even know the, the, the evil incantations that are going into the music and that are going into the lyrics. Right. There are actual, there, there is actual witchcraft, witchcraft and wickedry that's being, that, 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 that's, that's, permeate into music behind the scenes that you that you don't even know are there. And the artist itself, like Monica, Monica was only 15 at the time, I think, that she's made that song. So she had no idea. In fact, a lot of times, artists, uh, uh, just regular people, think that lust is love. Right. So they, they don't know any better. A lot of times we don't know any better. Okay. So what happens is is that uh, we we unknowingly give license. Well, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, um, "My my people uh, perish, perish for lack of knowledge." For lack of knowledge. Right. So so it took me this long just to figure out that song, which everybody calls it a love song, and it really isn't. Right. You know. So yeah, 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 yeah. The the evil is in the music. Why am I saying this? Well, the reason why I'm saying this is because Satan loves to attack the because, children. Because, oh, may I say this? Sure, because go Because we're living in a time where deception, well, the word yes. says that deception is increasing. Mm-hmm. And we need to be very vigilant on how the, and where the deception is going to be coming from. And a lot of it is coming from entertainment, especially in the music that we listen to different songs 
So we need to be very mindful of what it is that we are listening to even now, you know, and really just filtering it. I'm like, wait, wait a minute before we start. Wait, wait, whoa, yeah, wait as a question, minute. As question. As believers, because then we know we get caught up and next thing you know, like we're confessing one thing in yeah. our prayer prayer time and mm-hmm. then, you know, we're we're singing a song that's going against or speaking about fornication or something and then we're opening doors yeah. portals Whoa. I'm saying um, this, this is this is this is real talk portals you could be opening up portals in certain in in these songs that you're singing and so we got to really check our gates one of our gates is our mouth gates and this word is coming to give correction to us all not just you all that are listening but to us because we yeah. need to be vigilant and we don't want to be deceived right and um and and top it up, the kids was looking at me, brought my head to oh, it. Wow, and we are influencers as mm-hmm. well. So See, because because mm-hmm. remember, we have the power. We have the power in the atmosphere. And we can say we can make the rain stop. And guess what? When we make the rain stop, we make the rain stop for us and everybody around us too. So we can do the opposite. Wait, go back to you said there was a child who was... There was, ch- ch- there, there was, a, there was a, a, a kid, he looked like he might have been 13, 11, and 5. Mm-hmm. And we're all sitting there watching me bop my head to it while I was folding the clothes. Did they say anything? Was, look, you're not kids to stare at you. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, they just stare at you. So what example was I setting? Unknowingly, I didn't realize it, but, but then, like I said, like I said, when I... When I, when I once I saw them looking at me, that's that's not what I wonder. What am I looking? What am I listening to? Mm. What am I listening? Am I being responsible right now? What's yeah. going on? And then that's when I started listening to. I was like, Oh, I'm listening to this. I was like, Oh, this is an oldie but goodie. And I was like, Wait a minute, but I never listened to the words. A lot of the words from the oldies but goodies are are are, are they might be oldies, but they're not good. <laughs> yeah, I believe that was a powerful moment right there. That was a prophetic moment. Because I believe that the Holy Spirit was trying to show you that in that moment, well, show you that you're an influencer and whatever your actions, whatever you do, you have influence on the Mm -hmm. next generation. Mm -hmm. And so because you are being watched, you have a title, you have a, you're a leader. And so you have to be mindful of what it is that you're doing, what you're saying, because the the youth, they're impressionable. Yes. And. They're just going to emulate you and trust that whatever comes from mm-hmm. you is going to be accurate awesome. in a sense or wholesome, yeah. not even yeah. knowing. Right. So we as leaders have to be mindful very and responsible, selective, yeah. strategic, yeah. as artists as well, in yeah. everything and all things. Yeah. We want to glorify God, and, and, and I think God, the Holy Spirit, gives, can give you a way where you can be culturally relevant, but yeah. we have to remember that we're also influencers, and we're influencing culture, yeah. and in that, we have a responsibility of young men and young women, like, what are they going to take away from whatever it is that you're putting out as art? You know, we have to, we're going to make a mark that that is not a race. What kind of mark are we leaving um, to mm-hmm. our young people? What do you want them to take away from that song, you know, that, that, that movie? What, what's it going to be their lasting impression? Even from a conversation, it's just something that all of us, we need to think about how we're impacting the next generation, people around us, and um, just assessing ourselves every day and making those adjustments to line up with, um, you know, what, what God requires of us as, as leaders. I, we're all leaders. Some of us have, you know, a greater responsibility or accountability, but we all have to make this adjustment so we can be better role models because it's needed and mentors within our community and uh, wherever God places us. Yeah, as well. You know, like I say, you know, Monica was only 15 when she wrote that song. She might have been younger, okay? Mm-hmm. So she didn't have no idea what she was what she was singing or doing, but there was somebody around her that influenced her to make that song. Mm-hmm. There were there, there she she became a star overnight mm-hmm. when she made that song. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there was influencers that ate off of her while while there were other influencers that did Satan's work. Okay? So here we are. Now we're in the place of being influencers. We can be doing Satan's work and don't even realize it. Yeah, because we're so something. because we're so programmed from back in the day. Like I was programmed from back in the day. I had to stop myself two times 
from bopping my head to the to the music again. Even when she wasn't singing, I, I still found myself, and I had to say, Dwayne, stop it. Stop it. I had to literally tell myself that because th- it, it wasn't really good. Do you remember when we first met? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go on. And we, um, I mean, I had to pull away from a lot of music and mm-hmm. songs that mm-hmm. I really adored. <laughs> um, you know, until this day, I don't even listen to half of the things I used to, but I still love good music. You know, music is music. I, I, I love music. And, um, but there are certain songs that God made me had to see and open up my eyes as well as my husband made me see that it's not, it's of, it's of the satanic order, mm-hmm. uh, lack of a better word. And I'm not going to go down the list. And right. This is not about berating anybody mm-hmm. or anything You don't like want to that, judge anybody. You have to just know you have like to judge that spirit. what portals are being open yeah. when you're listening to certain songs and mm-hmm. what's coming in to your gates in abundance, yep. you know, yep. so I have to really disconnect, especially if I know that I'm a worshiper as well. You know, there's certain songs um, that just, they just, they just give off a different spirit. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? A different spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that revelation. And so you just have to know, like, how to rightly divide your music, you know, that pure is a good report, you know. There's nothing wrong with listening to secular music, but you got to find the ones that are, you know, wholesome, you know. Yeah. Do some research. There are good songs mm-hmm. out there, you know, um, and just go through and, and allow God. If you need to go to a mentor or somebody who might guide you uh, through your, your, your song list, if it's needed, your young people, that's what I'm saying, mainly parents, go, thank you, Holy Spirit, parents, this is for parents, go through what your, go through your child's song list, what are they listening to, go through their ear pods, because that's where the enemy is really capturing our young people with their music, their hip hop, and provide alternatives, you do your due diligence and research and see what else is out there, so when you come to them, you're not like, well, you can't listen to this and you can't listen to that. Well, try to reason with them and say, you know what, well, well what fantasy. about this? Yeah, How about fantasy. this? You know, listen to this. Right. What do you think? That's what I did to my husband when I met him. <laughs> you know, I, there were certain worship songs that he couldn't even get into. And now, like, he's listening to them all the time, but it just wasn't his style. But I would say, okay, babe, what about this? Now, now, what now, about this one? <laughs> now, now, here's the thing now. We're talking about... We're adults here. Right. We're talking about <laughs> the youth. If the music can can make us, make me, the devil slayer, Pastor Dwayne, start bopping his head to it, okay, and, 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 and it actually took me to push forward to stop, mm-hmm. how is it what, and what is it doing to the youth? What is it doing to the young people? Mm -hmm. And, of course, we don't even need to ask that question. We can see it. We can see We can see how they act. We can see how they move. They have this dead look in their eyes. They're smoked out. Why why are the children, why why are the children's best friends, Bong and um, Hooker and um, um, and Weed, you know, why? Why why are those things, why is drinking and drugging their best friends? Why, Why are videos their best friend? You know why? Because Satan loves to attack the family. It's a spiritual attack. Satan attacked Job's family yeah. and was able to catch his children out there. Why? Because they were living like the world. They were into what the world was doing. They 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 were having they were having parties and uh that's why Job prayed for them all every day because they were doing what they weren't supposed to do. Mm-hmm. They 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 were doing the opposite of what God wanted. Okay. Um they, like I said, they was having re- reveling at parties and all of that stuff and guess what what plays at parties? Music and so forth and so on. So Satan was able to attack them, Satan was able to kill them. Right. Okay, like I said, what it said uh, in First Peter, it said that um, Satan is looking to, to, he's prowling around, looking to see who who it can seek, uh, kill, and destroy. That's his whole. That's his whole mantra. Okay, and so and so, it is, what it is doing is destroying the very fabric of family. It's turning the children away from looking, the the who he may devour. Yeah, and it's turning the children away from. Any type of authority in the household, 
right. any type of authority out there in the world, which gives uh, the world a reason to shoot them down, or buck them down, you know? So, so um, you know, Satan's attacking. And so our job is to remind us as the believers what we're supposed to be doing. I was like, Paul, what do we, what do we need to do? Because people don't want to hear what we have to say. He said we, we need to first pray. But we, we have to remember the deception. My wife was talking about the deception. Um, and so we, we, have to, we have to look, when, when, when we're listening to the song, listen, listen to the words, okay? And in Ephesians 5, 8, it says, let no one six. deceive Ephesians you. Ephesians 5, 6. Ephesians 5, 6. Ephesians 5, 6 says, let no one deceive you with empty words. Plain and simple. A lot of these songs out here have empty words with, but they have the incantation of um, evil. I was listening the other day to this, to a creationalist try to talk about how the world was created with the Big Bang, by the Big Bang, but um, uh, God had something to do with it and so forth and so on. And he went on into this tandem and he wasn't saying nothing. He wasn't saying nothing that, um, talking about science is number one. And, you know, and he wasn't saying, I, 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 and, you know, I'm not a scientist, but I was able to pick apart with my ears everything that he was saying that he didn't even know that he was being led by Satan. Mm-hmm. You know, so you can't be deceived. Right. You can't be deceived by empty words. You got to you. You have to. You have to be sober minded right. by Christ, mm-hmm. by by Holy Spirit. Okay, because even like the song that you said, the um, that song, some songs that might even reference God mm-hmm. might not even be mm-hmm. about God. Right. Look, 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 look at that song um, that D, uh, DJ Khaled sent him. Come out. God did. God did. Do you know? Do you know DJ Khalif is a is a Muslim, and you got Christians going and saying God did, and 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 ain't got nothing to do with God whatsoever. But again, there's <laughs> that's where deception. Deception. You would just you can just go along with it because you just hear, mm-hmm. oh, that's God. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, okay, well he said God, mm-hmm. but no, we have to slow down and filter once again through the lens of a Holy Spirit, and really tune into the Spirit of Truth. What is the Spirit of Truth saying about this psalm before you quick or quickly? The Bible talks about false prophets, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, they're, 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 they're false prophets. Look at what it says. That, um, Go on. Yeah, they're, they're going to be false prophets that are going to be rising up, and, and we have to be on the side where we can discern, discern. from everything, meaning yes. entertainment, music, yes. what yes. is it that is being said? Is yes. it lining up with the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. my, the Spirit of truth? What is he saying? Yes. Look what it says in Jeremiah 29, verse 8. It says, For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, do not let your prophets who are in your midst and your diviners diviners. Deceive, diviners deceive you and do not listen to the dreams which they dream. God did is a perfect example of that. God did. All Jay-Z talked about was um, selling drugs and how he got to where he got. So he didn't have to sell drugs anymore. Plain and simple. That, that, that's that's all he talked about, and people glamorize that joint like like nuts. Okay, well, the, and that, what it says it says, do not listen to the dreams which they dream. How they got to their dream, how they made it, is not the way that you're supposed to be making it. Everybody thinks that they just gotta sell, they gotta sell drugs harder, stronger, better. Don't stop because you're gonna get on his level, whatever level he's on. Billionaire status, that's the status of the world. Not that being a billionaire is, is, is wrong. It's just how you get to it is the issue. So do not be deceived. The, all of these people I'm talking about God did, they're false prophets. They're not prophets. It, it, I mean, they're, they're, they're false prophets, diviners, the people that, 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 that um, are able to seduce you. 
okay? Talking about they're universal. I'm universal, okay? That, that, you, that, do, that, do, that does not make you um, a child of God because you think you're universal, because you think you know so many religions that you're universal. Galatians 6, Galatians 6 verse 7 says, Do not be deceived. This is for the believer. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. What does it say? It says in Colossians 2 verse 8, it says, See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy. An empty deception yes. according to the tradition Fiction. of men, uh-huh. according to the elementary principles of the word. Yeah, rather than or the world, of the world, according yes, to the, the elementary world. principles of the world, that, rather than according to Christ. Yeah, cap- captivity through philosophy, meaning you do what my husband said about when people say, oh, you know, um, I'm universal, like that. Mm-hmm. That's that's philosophy, oh, I'm or spiritual. you know, you have to. <laughs> it says, see to it that no one takes you captive, that you don't get caught up when people start talking that way, and then you start talking that way, and next thing you know, you don't, you stop confessing Christ, and you're saying, oh well, I'm universal too. Right, exactly. Um, because it's to okay me. now, everybody, mm-hmm. you know, or uh, the light. Mm-hmm. I know we hear that one a lot. Oh, mm-hmm. the light, the good light. light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that has become divination. <laughs> Divination, divination, you know, uh, that, that, that is divination. When people start talking about the light, you know. and it, Lots of light, lots of love. Like some people say lots of light or they say the universe. Sometimes people say the universe as well. Mm-hmm. That could be philosophy as well. Right, right. So, so to the youth, to the youth, you have to, you have to make a decision when you're listening to these rap artists. We have to talk about this. I'm not trying to judge anybody, but we got to talk about it. All right? When you listen to these um, singers and so forth and so on, and talking about sex, drugs, money, mayhem, murder, that's going against Christ, okay? And going against Christ means lawlessness. Talking about selling drugs and so forth and so on. That's lawlessness. And it says the second Thessalonians two three. It says, "Let no one in any way deceive you." When it's when they're singing, when they're talking about that gang gang stuff, when they're talking about uh, um, selling the drugs and and all of that nonsense, it's deceiving you. It's glamorizing the life that's going to lead you to jail, a hospital, death, on the run. It's deceiving. It says, let no one in any way deceive you. Second, Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3. It will, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first. The apostasy is running away from God, a total turning away from Christ. The apostasy comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. You are following Satan, and you don't want to follow Satan because you're going to follow him to eternal damnation, and you don't want to end up there. You want to know what eternal damnation is? Eternal damnation is you being in the walking dead, eat, getting eaten by zombies over and over and over and over again, and you feel every bite that's going to be coming at you. The hell is going to be worse than that. That's First John 3, verse 7. I'm speaking to the, I'm speaking to the youth. But I'm speaking to the adults as well, because I'm an adult, and I was getting pulled in. Okay, and I always say that um, old fools were young fools that didn't listen. So listen, First John 3 and 7 says, little children, make sure no one deceives you. The one who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. And then the, uh, the other thing is the one that practices unholiness is unholy. And all this stuff that you guys are listening to, try to stop listening to it. Listen, last thing. I remember when I used to drive my car, whatever the case, I used to be pumping, I used to be bumping DMX, 
and uh, 50 Cent and so forth and so on. I kid you not. Trying to be Mr. Cool, whatever the case, there wasn't a car that I did not get into an accident whenever I was playing those, that music. Mm, wow. I always got into a car accident. I would listen to the Jay-Z or Biggie, boom, always get into some type of accident. Okay? Yeah. I was opening up mad portals. And the only reason why I'm still here to t- tell you guys about it is because God had a plan for me, which I eventually went to. And that stopped me from listening to that music, the rap music, and all of that stuff because I realized how much Satan was using me as his tool. He was using me as a pawn. And pawns, I'm sorry, in chess get sacrificed. And I was a sacrifice. And I'm glad that um, I've moved on from that. I want you to move on from that. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. You got a lot of gospel rappers out there that you can listen to that are fire. You got a lot. There's there's gospel singers that you can listen to. Listen, we we know gospel Emmy Award winners. Emmy? Emmy? Is it Emmy Awards? Grammy. Grammy Award winners. We know them, and they are so cool. You know, you you can stop listening to the lyrics of Satan and start listening to the lyrics that are uh, promoted that God that 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 uh where artists are promoting God, wholesomeness, righteous righteousness, goodness, and, and you'll see good things come out of, of 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 that. You know, catch I I gotta tell you, when I'm listening to gospel, when I'm listening to uh the songs of uh, that 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 uh gospel artists and gospel rap artists sing, okay? It's 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 so refreshing, you know, not one curse in it, not one swear in it, okay? And everything is uh, focused on God. That's all I got to say. You know anything else to say? Um, remember, you, you uh, let, when we come back next week, we're going to talk about, remember there was something you want to talk about that you, the, the, the movie that we were watching? That's sort of, we, we're going we're, we're gonna to go over and discuss some movies next week. Okay. Hey, guess what, guys? It's our 99th episode. We'll go <laughs> next week. Will be our hundredth episode. God be the glory. Wow! God Thanks for having us, Jerry. Wow, we've really been rocking with, 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 with the with the Lord, okay. the Positive Twenty One Radio Network. Let's we, we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate, oh, and you are invited to our hundredth episode. Oh, Hallelujah! Oh, Hallelujah! All right, and we 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 got some other good things coming. Me and Jerry Royce, man, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Yes, amen. There's a lot amen. going on. So let's close out, Heavenly Father. We thank you for this time, Lord. We thank you, Father, that um, everything that we've been able to. Lord, we thank you, Father, that um, everything that we've been able to hear tonight, Father, that uh, we'd be able to lay it down, lay our entertainment down, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You challenge us, Lord, to sift and to to look at everything that we're um, putting in our ear gates, our eye gates, and even coming out our mouth gates, Father. Thank you, Father. We just recommit and dedicate our entertainment, Lord, our music to you afresh tonight, Lord, and we just repent, Father, of anything that we have done, Father, that may have not been pleasing um, to you in the mighty name of Jesus, and we just thank you right now that this year, Father, that we will have, we will make better decisions where our entertainment is concerned. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if you want to be a part of this magnificent, uh, uh, glorious light of Christ, light of Christ and turn away from uh, the damning ways of the world. Repeat after my wife now. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins. And I ask for you to forgive me. And I ask for you to forgive me. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life. Take complete control of my life. And help me to walk in your footsteps. And help me to walk in your footsteps. Daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving me. For saving me. Hallelujah. Jesus, 
mighty name. Amen. You just said that prayer. Yeah. A thousand angels are rejoicing right now as Hallelujah. we speak. Yes. The Bible Hallelujah. says old things have passed. So that yeah. old nature, mm-hmm. that old man is yeah. gone. It's, it's gone. gone. You're a yep. new creature in Christ. Yep. Welcome to the family of God, beloved. Yes. And if you want to uh, learn more about the calling that you have in your life, you want to learn scripture, um, you can give us a shout at UFL Ministries, INTL at gmail.com. You can also hit us up on the gram, the Love Chapters Pod, or Pastor Dwayne. If you want to reach it out to us personally, individually, you can go to Dwayne the Pastor or Pastor Kia. Amen. All right. Well, listen, we definitely love you so much. And only God, God Jesus, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit love you more. Ciao for now. That's right. Let me tell you why. Well, it's that God in me. It's God you're talking about. Well, it's that God in me. God. Well, it's that God in me. God. You know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's that God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold God's head. It's not the blood. You're listening to Jerusalem Worldwide Podcast.